1991. Ground level ozone is now officially acknowledged as a threat. People are getting scared. Is it still okay to take the children out to play? Despite information campaigns, the emissions of pollutants didn't get reduced. This led to more ground level ozone. This was a major weakness in how the situation was being handled. Basically, you have to think all year round about how to reduce the emissions. Manfred Hellriegel and his team noticed that the population is much more active when they are involved in co-creating the solution. Citizens are willing and open to deal with complex issues. Out of this deeper concern, a totally different willingness and understanding emerges. People then engage themselves deeply, they work on solutions and they make behavioral changes. 1999, the Office for Future Related Issues is founded. Their mission is to increase the collaboration between the state government and the population. The Lighthouse Project Children to the Center with 140 participants is one of the highlights in establishing a culture of participation in Vorarlberg. There is only one problem, the costs are too high. We were always thinking about how we could replicate a process like this. We were looking for something that is almost foolproof where you can't do much wrong, and which gives you viable results without costing too much. During this time, Manfred Hellriegel reads about the facilitation method dynamic facilitation. He starts applying the process and is so taken by the results that he wants to get to know the originator and signs up for a training with the consulting couple Jim and Jean Ruff. At the training, when talking with Jim about our work, I heard for the first time that dynamic facilitation has this special application, the Wisdom Council. Jim was absolutely thrilled when he heard we could use it, and I was thrilled because I had such good experiences with dynamic facilitation. For Vorarlberg and its purposes, the format is slightly adapted, and the name is changed to Citizen Council. 2006, the first ones take place. The Citizen Council process consists of four steps. Preparation, the Citizen Council itself, the Citizen Café, evaluation and implementation. A preparation team of stakeholders, administrators and politicians identify and spell out the Citizen Council's task. Then 12 to 20 people from the population are randomly selected. The facilitation method dynamic facilitation taps into the diversity of the group to co-create solutions. In this manner, over one and a half days, shared recommendations emerge. In the Citizen Café, the Citizen Council presents its results to stakeholders, the public, politicians and administrators. The audience participates in a World Café setting. The results are fleshed out and refined. A responder group then evaluates the results and decides what will be implemented. And finally, the political decision-makers give everyone their feedback about their choices on what will be put in action and what not. Since 2008, over 100 citizen councils have been held in Austria, Germany and the United States. This participation format has stood the test of its time in many different contexts. Political scientist Patricia Nunz researched worldwide for examples that have left a lasting impact on democracy in various places. And then I came across Vorarlberg and was thrilled for a number of different reasons. One of them was which um, there weren't just a few individual citizen councils with short-term effects. Instead, what I discovered there was an evolving culture of 
participation in the state of Vorarlberg. Politicians are often cautious in making unpopular decisions because they do not want to lose any votes. Our experience is that citizens are usually much further along than politicians suspect. They exhibit a much greater willingness to accept unpopular measures, but they really need to be heard about the issue. And a decisive advantage of the Citizen Council is, of course, the legitimacy factor. For example, a mayor in a small town who had just conducted a Citizen Council in regard to redeveloping its town center said, the process saved him hours of discussion in the local council because the Citizen Council clearly recommended a specific approach. Random selection ensures diversity. It is becoming increasingly clear that citizens have a different kind of knowledge than experts, politicians or administrators. In comparison to an expert panel, which is often composed of specialists from one discipline, a citizen council has an inter- and transdisciplinary approach. Thus, it is automatically more grounded in reality. Well, I think they're often closer to the problems. This doesn't mean that the experts don't have any legitimacy. They also have a certain kind of knowledge, but it's a specific kind of knowledge. Citizens know other things. Uh, we call it local knowledge or indigenous, uh, experiential knowledge. We have different names for it. If we don't really go into the problem areas, then the best concepts and ideas aren't really grounded. And that is what public participation is all about for me. We in politics and administrations are like everybody else. We work in a certain bubble. But ultimately, we need to grasp the many dimensions, the bigger picture of a subject. When there is a complex situation with different interests at stake, the Citizen Council can more easily set a change in motion. The more controversial and hotter the issue is, including for the politicians, the better a Citizen Council works. We see it on the one hand by how many people are willing to participate, the response rate to our invitations is much higher. And of course then, when politicians pick up the results and work with them. Citizens in Europe and in some other parts of the world are increasingly involved with public issues. Successful public participation revives democracy. It is a matter of experience and also attitude. Man kann hier politisch mitgestalten. You can co-create innovations in the political field without having to get involved with what people see as the shadow sides of politics. This kind of engagement provides a really positive experience of how decisions are made and how opinions are formed. On a national level, the crucial factor from my point of view is who is the convener? Who is the one saying he or she really wants this and that and is fully committed to the process from its start to the very end? This person and their team have ownership and ensure that the results are fed into the political process. I believe that the requirements for running a citizen council are quite low and at the same time they are very high. You need to be willing to give up control. Anyone who wants to control the process, who wants to know from the beginning what kind of results will emerge, is not well advised to initiate a wisdom council. When it comes to lasting and sustainable solutions, to get people to think, to encourage them to collaborate and to co-create solutions, then you can't get those outcomes easily without citizen councils or similar processes. Er kommt an den Bürgerräten oder an ähnlichen Verfahren wahrscheinlich gar nicht so leicht vorbei.